Hey folks, I'm Mangrel. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do some long overdue comfort modifications on my DJI Goggles 2. The first modification we're going to do is we're going to replace the stock head strap. This head strap's not too bad, way better than the prior generation, but it still is quite firm and the only elastic part is this piece here. So it's not very comfortable for extended use and also it does allow the goggles to ride up and down. So I'm gonna replace this with this. This is the FX HD strap. I did have an FX strap on my goggles V1. I love that thing. I use it for about three years. So I've already got this installed. Now this is technically not made for the goggles 2 or the goggles Integra. It's for the V1 and the V2. So it's a very tight fit. So you can see that it doesn't perfectly fit here and it's very difficult to put these buttons on but it does fit you have to really manhandle it but it will fit and this just looks so much better it's nice and flexible it can go in here as well and this head strap has this battery holder with the little silicone nubs in there and the intent is that you can now put your battery in here as well it goes in something like that and then the wire comes out this side the only negative is you can no longer see the little leds so they're covered by this band but that's fine i can see the voltage in the goggles themselves the next modification is we're going to install this newly released foam padding this is the soft fit so it's designed more for round faces versus flat faces I'm really excited for this because I did have a lot of face gasket issues. So let me show you how this looks like. You can see it's now a fabric material versus that rubber or plastic material. So it should be a lot more breathable and a lot more comfortable. It's nice and soft and squishy as well. And you can see here that it's got these air holes, these air channels. So it should be hopefully better on the anti-fogging behavior as well. And here's the stock pad. So you can see it's this plastic rubber material and it's got none of those channels here for for breathability so hopefully this new version helps with some fogging issues i never had any fogging issues but i know some of you do so hopefully this does help as well and then shape wise if i put them together you can kind of see how they're a little bit different this one the stock one is more flat here and then it comes around whereas this one is a lot more round all the way through I'm not a very good artist, but I went ahead and I traced out the two face pads. The outside one is a stock pad and the inside one, the blue line is the soft fit pad. And you can see how the shape is different. One is designed to be more wide, whereas the other one is more narrow and pointy. So I think the new version will fit my face shape a lot better. So just give it a good pull and then make sure you take it out straight. There are pins at the top and the bottom and it just comes right out. So these little pins here, these clip into these tiny holes. That's all you gotta do. And then to install the new face pad, just go ahead and line up the holes at the very top and the bottom. You may have to stretch it a little bit to get in there, but just take your time, line everything up, and then it should clip right in there. All right, there we go, something like that. I also noticed that there are these little tiny clips on the side, so you do have to get those in. So just push them in, and then the corners of the face pad will clip in. If you don't do that, the corners will just kind of wobble around. And then the final modification will be a wire modification. So right now we've got this really long cable, and the fact that our battery is here, we want a quite short cable just to go from here over to here. So you could go ahead and chop this up, resolder it, or on AliExpress, I did see some cables that were the right length for this. So depending on what you're comfortable with, you can do either option. For now, I'm gonna fly it like this with the original cable, just to make sure I'm comfortable with the battery being over here. If I am, I'll probably just chop up the original cable and then fly that way. Initial feedback here on the bench is that there are positives with this and unfortunately like everything out there there are some negatives too. I did find that this upgraded soft fit foam pad actually placed the goggles in a better position on my face right away. There was none of this, okay move it up and down, try to go left and right to find that optimal space. It actually seemed to sit right properly on my nose. I got a fairly decent view in the, in the goggles. Now, of course, the whole thing is not clear. I don't expect the faceplate to end up resolving my blurry edges. That's an optics issue. 
But the problem with this is that the nose area, and especially if you've got a larger nose, the nose area is not very padded. So you can see as I push this, it's pretty solid. You have some padding up here, but down here is, is all solid. And you can see even the plastic that supports the faceplate, that plastic continues all the way around. So you do find that you have a lot more pressure on your nose and it's also a lot more uh, scratchy in this area. Now compare that with this one where you can see that the plastic ends over here and the nose area is 100% foam. And I wonder if I can do something like what I did with my V1 and my V2 goggles where I made a hybrid of the two. So on the V1 goggles where I got the upgraded foam pad, I end up cutting out the foam pad here and then I use the upgrade pad up to here and then the original for the remainder. That to me would be the perfect combination. But let me go out and do a couple of flights on this and I'll share more feedback. I spent the weekend flying this combination and unfortunately a bit of uh, mixed results here. Let's start with a head strap first. So the head strap was actually quite good. It was a lot more comfortable having this bigger band made it not slide up and down on your head. So I was quite happy with this. Having the battery attached to the goggles was actually quite nice too. No longer having that long cable in my pocket that would cause tangling with the transmitter. So like that. Uh, one negative piece here though is that your ear actually gets positioned right underneath this battery. And this battery is very hard plastic. So it's not uncomfortable at first, but after seven or eight battery packs back to back, you do feel that pressure on your ear and the discomfort. Would have been nice if Ethics actually put the battery pack at the back here, similar to how the DJI Integra goggles are, but otherwise was quite happy with the head strap. The new faceplate was again, quite a, a mixed bag. I did like the comfort of this new fabric material. It did feel cooler on, on the skin as opposed to the plastic material or the rubber material that uh, originally comes with this that you do find that sweats a lot more. I um, don't have any fogging issues with the goggles, but I suspect this will help with that as well. Along with up here, you can see those channels for better uh, ventilation with this faceplate. I did find that it was easier to get this goggle in the optimal position. I was moving up and down a lot less than the original OEM faceplate, so that's good as well. The nose area did end up being uncomfortable like I expected. It is a hard plastic as I mentioned and you do feel it after a couple of flights. The other challenge here is that there's a lot more light bleed at the bottom. The sides and the top are okay. But on the bottom, I can get almost a full finger up here between my uh, cheeks and the actual faceplate. That's actually a lot worse than the OEM faceplate where I can probably get half a finger up in there. The other thing to bear in mind is the actual fit, it, it doesn't seem like it's very good on the goggles too. Perhaps on the Integra it's better, but you can see how it actually covers up a little bit of that bind button, but that's not where it stops. This actual lens cover that these goggles come with no longer fit as well. You can see that it just doesn't fit in there properly, even though both of these are OEM DJI products, it doesn't fit very well. So like I said, mixed bag with the faceplate. And honestly, I, I don't recommend this faceplate given the price of it and, and the benefits. Perhaps if you have a lot of fogging issues and a lot of sweating kind of issues, this can help you, but it wasn't that good to justify its price. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and stay tuned for more videos.